Oh god! That's a bad thing, actually. Generic intro into that case. We're here back with another video, and today we are starting something that hopefully sticks around for a good little while. But we are starting the odd ones out reactions, which I've never seen a video by him ever. But today we're starting with Subway, which is his work stories. I think he's done three of these. The part three has 90 million views. This video has 86 million views, which is a ton of of views and it's actually a short video i love subway it's actually i believe the most locations of any restaurant or fast food place in all of america there are more subways than anywhere else i think it's probably because they're franchise it's probably pretty easy to get a subway franchise but we're doing the odd ones out for some reason for the longest time wherever i saw his name because i've seen him before like i've seen names i thought it was always like the odd scout that's how I always read it, because I never really paid attention to it. It's the odd ones out. I always thought it was the odd scout or something like that. But I read all your comments, so leave some down below. Let me know what the next video should be, if I should do more of these, and if you want more odd ones out reactions. Usually I do Jaden animation reactions, but I just figured, hey, let's do the odd ones out. Might as well start that now. Probably still might go back and forth between Jaden animations whenever she uploads a new video and stuff like that. You should check out last week's video, which was Jaden animations' newest video about Digimon. I'll leave it right up there. Also, give me a link down below in the description. You'll check that out. But like I said, I read all your comments and reply to a lot of them. Also, shout out to the patrons. Thinking the video is there early. Love to have a paywall channel completely against paywalls. I'm here to make you smile, not make you pay. So let's go ahead and jump into Subway. Let me make sure I'm actually clicked on the video and let's get into it. I think that I've only ever had one thing from Subway their actually. Life should work in a fast food or retail job, not to improve their uh, nope, work I, ethic nope, or anything, I can, nope, but nope, so that everyone knows nope. what it's like to have that kind of job. They nope. wouldn't work in fast food their whole lives, maybe just like for six months, just nope. so they get a feel for it. So with that, never, nope, I knew it would go bad. When nope. I worked in fast food, I used to work at a very small local sandwich shop. I used shop. to work in a. Uh, you guys heard of it? It's called Suaway. Distribution Our center. Our spokesperson was in the news recently. Uh, I don't know if you guys look at uh, the news, did you hear about beat up in jail? Jail? Good. I kind of want to meet the person who beat up Jared more than Jared. Not in person. We wouldn't meet in person. <laughs> no, no, no. But just like, kind of like give him a high five from a distance. And I would just look at the guy who beat up my spokesperson. How many people get to say that they beat up a fast food icon who is also a pedophile? Only one, I, and it's that guy. Okay, uh, seriously, guys. I'll, I'll date, yeah, was that we know one of. of the most easiest jobs out there. I don't know why I'm about to complain about it to you guys. We got free cookies. And you know the comic <laughs> with the subways in hell? I was actually Subway working here? at Subway when I made that comic. Oh, this really? Thing, it adds sort of a little bit of value. You mean comics? You see the I didn't really see any comics. husband and wife, can you believe it? Of the Franchise, Subway yeah. I worked at owned two stores. One of the Subway stores was in a Walmart on an uh. Indian reservation. Oh! We have those in Arizona. He's and in the Arizona? Other Subway, okay was the subway I worked at. And since the Walmart Which store was... was always busy, the owners would spend 99% of their time at Ooh, that working store. With the owners. So I didn't really have a boss most of the time. On the off the chance owner. the owners did show up, they would just pick up some food and then they would make sure I was making sandwiches the right way. And every time I made a sandwich in front of them, they would I... always find something wrong with it <sighs> without Those fail. People. put on too many olives. Do you know Never according to olive. the subway formula, you're only supposed to put on eight olives on a foot. Oh really, eight? tell you? One for every other bite. That's just ridiculous. Can you bite. imagine Wait. someone just counting out eight olives? Nobody does that. Uh, we uh, Jimmy Johnson does. Shift, and at the end of the night, we would turn the alarm, and we have 60 seconds to get out of the store. <laughs> but one time I had the explodes. opening shift, so I unlocked the door to get in with my key, and the alarm went beep, beep. Meaning I had 60 seconds Thank to turn, go and it turn it off. No big deal, right? I've turned the alarm on all the time when I was yeah, closed. Yeah, but how you so turn it off? So I go to the little control panel, and I type in the code. It doesn't and nothing work. happens. Different the beeping code. is still there, and the clock is still ticking down. So I go, okay, I'm going to press each button very carefully. I'm going to make sure each maybe button maybe do makes it reverse order. when I press it. Beep, beep, beep. Nothing still happens. So I go, it's only three okay. digits. I'm going to make sure to press each button very carefully. And I, start I would do thinking, the same. Did they change the pain. passcode without telling me? Well, this is the only passcode I know, so we're just going to try it again. And I press yeah, each button trying. very carefully. Beep. Surprised you can hit him at all with hands like that. Beep. And it goes quiet. Oh. And then the alarm goes oh, off. Oh, God. I still have 20 seconds left. But I guess when you get it wrong three times, it automatically assumes that you're a burglar. So while yeah. the alarm is going off, I look on the contact sheet for the owner's cell phone number. I step okay. outside. I call while him. While the alarm's going off. He doesn't pick up. So I go back inside, find the number for the other Subway store. And they call open them. an hour before we do. No, Someone picks Walmart. up with their stupid voice. Oh, thank you for calling Subway. I'm blah, 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 blah. Help me. The alarm's going off. May I help you? And help I go, me. hey, is Mike there? It's not his real name, guys. Don't worry. And they go, um, just a minute. Yeah, sure. I have all the time in the world. Yeah. The cops might be on their way, but take your time. So yeah. Mike picks up. 
Yellow. Hey, Mike, this is James. Uh, what's the passcode oh, for the alarm? Okay. Who is this? It's James. What's the passcode? <laughs> Who is this? What are you doing there, James? Why aren't you answering the question? I have the opening shift. Is the alarm going off? Yes. Yeah, no one told me the new code. Yeah, we changed it. It's the last four digits of your social security number. It's oh, different. Okay, okay, thanks, Mike. Oh, I don't know my okay. social security number. So I finally I get it. the alarm off. No one showed up, thankfully. Which I actually don't know if that's, that's a good thing. That's or not. a bad thing, no, actually. Say it out loud. That's a bad thing. We did thing. have a store manager who would like make the schedule and sometimes tell us, "Hey, can you guys do a better job at your job?" But other than no. that, she was cool. She watches my videos, and so do her oh. little brothers. They're big fans. Oh. Shout out to Ivan and Andy. Those are the brothers. So get this: <laughs> at Subway, you only work with one other person, just you and them, in an empty just Subway for five hours. I mean, we weren't hours. like empty all the time. Okay. And when you're not making sandwiches, you have other stuff to do. Like what, like clean? stocking the chips, or we had stuff to do. But okay, yeah, we did watch a lot of Netflix and do homework. So, I mean, it was a... Really, is that chill? That other person you worked with jobs. would make or break your entire shift. It wasn't the annoying customers. I kind of got used to annoying customers. So I worked with a lot of crappy people. And I also worked <sighs> with a lot of people who I would probably never become friends with, except in a work setting. Yeah, so you because you're forced to be around them. the type of people them. who got jobs at Subway. Potheads. Most of them are potheads. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are really cool. That's honestly most retail or service like there was Tyler, any restaurant. I this guy, he smoked a lot of weed. He actually taught me what vaping was, and he got me into Clash of Clans. I oh God, Clash him of Clans! And his I remember in my Riddles video. I don't know if I ever told him that. And of course, oh. I have to mention Corey. He was he cool. We weed. watched How to Get Away with Murder on Netflix. Of course, I've also did. hung out with him outside of work. What him and Tyler had in common is that they would actually do their job, which you oh. got to appreciate. Then there was this guy. Get this, who what? was also named Jared. He loved Marvel, and that's <laughs> Jared. Like the only thing he would talk about. I He's can Marvel. say these things. He doesn't watch my videos. Oh, there was good. Sarah, she you was cool. She made probably me a has Red Bull. It. And her boyfriend, Jay, he talked about chakras and they all work together. eyes. He was interesting. And also, there's Anthony. <laughs> He's cool. Weed. What's up, Anthony? For the 100,000 Sprinkles video, I actually went back to Subway to use their scale because I knew Wh they had one. And we counted what? 500 Sprinkles again just to be more accurate for the 100,000. And Anthony helped me count. Instead of working. I mean, at least he got paid uh, uh, minimum wage for it. So two more yeah. stories before I go. Wait, so he was One using... One time, Jared asked me to take out this pile of coworkers? trash. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just put this pile of trash in the dumpster. And as I was yeah. taking it out, I at saw that night. there was a chip poster in the pile. And I thought, this is too cool to throw a away. A chip poster? I keep it. So I took it home with me. Actually keep and then it. the actually next it? day when I went in, people were saying, oh, where's the chip poster? We can't find the chip poster. It was in the dumpster. We haven't seen it anywhere. And I'm thinking... I have the poster. Yeah. I decided not to tell anyone that I had the poster. Yeah, well, it's now still you're... hanging up in my room. Sorry, I'll throw it away with you're finding out about this now. Okay, and then the other story, I was working with a manager, and we were just okay. making sandwiches like usual. And I noticed Normal. that when we toasted a sandwich, it would burn the paper a little on the edges. That yeah. probably shouldn't be happening. So yeah, then a fine. customer asks for just bacon toasted. And the boss what lady you... puts some okay. bacon on paper and then puts and the it paper in the probably toaster. Ignites. And we don't have a setting for just bacon. So then when she opens the toaster, there it's was a done. fire Oh the bacon. So then she starts to whack it with the little metal tray thing, but all she ended up doing was fanning the flames, yeah, making you get, the fire more oxygen. bigger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got this, right? Then I went in the back and I got the fire up. extinguisher and I actually used it. Oh, I wow. I saved that subway. Wait. Did you? What have I done? Is it okay if the bacon's a little crispy or, and has nitrogen and carbon yeah. dioxide yeah. stuff on it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't even mention a single bad customer. Yeah, experience. no, he did three of these. Well, I don't want the video to be too long. I should make a part two. I'm, I'm gonna make pretty a part sure he did. Two and it's just going to be Do you see that? about annoying customers that I had to deal with. And oh, if God. anyone I used to work with is watching, which is exactly why I've never worked you, in retail, it's because I hate you. Oh, understandable. But yeah, he's done three of the. Oh, he's done four of these. At, oh, the final sandwich. That should be interesting. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Hopefully, these videos don't have any copyright issues or stuff like that, which could definitely hurt the issue. It could definitely hurt me doing future videos from the odd ones out in the future. But I enjoyed it. Subway. Why does he call it Subway? I guess for legal purposes, he can't like talk trash about Subway. But I've only ever had one thing from Subway. It's literally a uh, tuna sub on white bread with pickles and tomatoes only. That's literally the only thing I've ever had from Subway. Also, what happened to the five dollar foot long? What happened to that? Like, I remember when the $5 footlong came out, that was, like, that was it. Like, that was, that was the deal. I remember when Subway was popping up everywhere. $5 footlong, you had the jingle, you had Jared, you had, it was the healthy option, all that fun stuff. And now, like, I, I remember when I was in Chicago, the first time I ever flew on a plane, I got stranded in O'Hare for eight, nine hours. 
and I got like a six inch Subway sub. Because it was in the airport, it was in Chicago O'Hare. It was like $9. But that's also what you pay at an airport. But that was ridiculous. <laughs> but let me know if you have any interesting subway stories. And if you want to see more videos from the Odd Ones Out. Or if you want to see the continuation of the subway videos. Or a different video by Odd Ones Out. I read every single comment. So leave them down below. Make sure you subscribe to some of those future videos. Maybe check out my Jane Animation videos. Or my Alpha Ride videos. Or any of my other videos. There should be a lot that are in playlist. Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Helsing Ultimate Bridge. My best friend comes on for videos. It just you name it. I've probably done it. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for watching. But until the next video. Take care. And keep the music. we